I'm here with uh, Paul today. We are making him another set of orthotics. How long have you had orthotics with us, Paul? Yeah. At least 20 years. 20 years. And so Paul catches up with us uh, probably once every 10 years to have a new scan done, or usually we do it once every five years because your foot changes um, over time. And with Paul, we have to make a new orthotic to offload pressure areas on his foot. So if we have a look at the um, TV screen here, you'll be able to tell that when Paul's standing, he gets these red areas on his foot here. We need to try and offload a few of these areas because otherwise it gets a corn or a callus um, and that, that area that can create pain and that will create a long-standing injury for him. The orthotics ideally is to offload areas of pressure in his foot but also to help with his foot mechanics so that his knee and his hip can work more effectively. Um, and again, that's going to help him in the future uh, when he wants to play more tennis or do more walking uh, so that he doesn't get too sore. So at the moment what we're doing is we're working with Paul through his gait analysis, which is the way that he walks. Our treadmill's got 6,000 pressure plates in it, so it allows us to actually see where you're placing most of the pressure. So when you look at the treadmill here, you'll be able to see, so Paul's got good pressure through his heel, he's got a quite a nice healthy arch on him, but now we're going to start seeing some peaks through the front of his foot here. So you see these big red troughs happening. So ideally what we want is we want that pressure to be more even across the whole front of your foot. And what's happening with Paul is he's getting small surface areas with lots of pressure on it. And that small surface area, repetitively, if you think about people taking 10,000 steps at work, it's usually the same. Um, that's 10,000 times a day that Paul will overload that little joint. So when we look at his orthotics, we can actually see in his orthotic that he's getting tiny indentations in the orthotic. So now having done a, another scan from when we did it, I think in 2014, we can update his orthotic and make his methane a little bit bigger to offload those uh, pressure areas as his foot changes as he gets older. So on a day-to-day -day basis, what that does for Paul is, because he's got a few corns and calluses underneath that foot, the orthotic can actually um, give us a longer period of time for him to come back and see us which is great because we want to minimise feasibility for people, but we also want to increase the functionality of the everyday life. So we'll allow Paul to hopefully walk a bit more, do a bit more exercise and not develop a chronic uh, metatarsal um, injury that then stops him from doing the things that he loves. So the next step from here is that um, I'll be taking Paul onto our Orthema machine. What that does is it's going to measure his foot and then I can actually build the orthotic uh, custom made to his foot to alleviate these pressure areas. Now the great thing about doing orthotics with Optimize Health is that we can make your orthotics on the same day. That's great for people that live out of town or time, for people that are already time poor. Uh, they can come and see us, uh, we can do the whole orthotic fitting process in that 80 minutes and then in two weeks time he comes back to me and then he'll tell me whether I've made the orthotic too strong or not strong enough or if I've got it just right, which would be great. But a lot of the time we don't get it right first time but our goal here is to help build the perfect match for you and that takes practice and experience so we enjoy that as part of the journey.